March 7, 2023, I began my journey from Big Cypress to Key West, Florida. I used the ECT Connector Trail and the Florida Keys Overseas Heritage Trail, which is approximately 200 miles. A few days in, I rested up, had some time for myself, and took a break from the swamps and embraced myself for a long road walk ahead. Shout out to my friend Tax for his amazing support and trail magic through this last section. Slowing down and enjoying the last of this 4,400 mile journey was blissful and nothing but pure joy. I was constantly reminded how things happen for a reason and people come into our life at the most perfect time. In. The wildlife and sunsets made Florida different from any other yet. I was constantly reminded the beauty of the journey and how far my feet has carried me, even on the days I wanted to give up, but could see the end so near and was reminded of my strength and to never stop finding for me in my dreams. Happy day! I made it to route one, which is insane. I am 10 miles away from Key Largo, and I am on a straight shot to Key West. Woo! Let's go! When I arrived at the Keys, I celebrated by staying at John Pennekamp State Park with a snorkeling tour. Then I continued on down the trail. As they say, the journey's the best part and always make time to smell the roses. Roadwalk sections wasn't that bad when you get pup lovins, gas stations, and ice cream stops along the way. Huge thanks to the Facebook groups and locals willing to help out by providing camp spots, supports, tips, and tricks. We also spent a few nights at the Bahianda State Park where it was nice to see the beach and take in all the beautiful scenery. The heat exposure and humidity became unbearable. Now I adjusted by rearranging my days to night hiking and taking in the cooler weather. As this 4,400 mile journey was coming to an end, I was reminded to never settle and never stay where you don't belong. Your dreams are worth chasing and no matter the circumstances, never stop fighting for you because you may just end up right where you belong. Woo, new level of anxiety. The bright side, look at this, sunrise. Oh gosh, another car, hold on to that. I overcame obstacles as the dehydration and lack of nutrition snuck up on me. I took a step back, trusted my body, and showed gratitude for the things around me. The seven mile bridge was the most intense as the shoulder was so narrow and cars were flying past me at 70 miles per hour. I cruised this out as fast as I could, paid extra attention to my surroundings, and took a huge breath of relief once I survived it out. As the days came closer and the miles started shrinking down, I danced, jammed, and continued to take one step at a time. So I am five miles from the southern terminus of Key West, and it feels insane. The emotions have been everywhere today. I'm not sure how I feel and it's becoming more and more real as I watch the countdown go from 30 to 20 to 10 and now it's five, five miles. Like this has been a year in the making. <sighs> Who knew one backpack experience would turn into the Canadian border to Key West, 16 states. I don't even know how to control my emotions right now and I'm not even sure how I'm supposed to feel. <laughs> I ended my 4,400 mile journey at the Southern Terminus in Key West on March 16th, 2023. I celebrated with tourists and champagne toasted with the locals and all smiles as this incredible journey came to an end. I took some time to explore the Keys and I spent a few days at the KOA reflecting on the past 11 months and the memories that I'll have for a lifetime. I will never fully have the words for the emotions or this experience. Huge thank you to my support team, friends, family, Trail Magic, and everyone that made this journey possible. It's never about climbing the tallest mountain, but it's about what you learn in the valleys and on the way to the destination is key. I'll never be the same person as I once was, and this, my friends, is just the beginning. Remember, you are capable of so much more than you'll ever believe.